Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29 28, 29 28, and 30 27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Marvin the Italian Dream, the Tory. I'm here with Marvin Vittori. Marvin, how good does it feel to get a victory in a fight that you call personal? Yeah, it was good, man. First time my mom came and watched me fight in the UFC, I was, I had all the energy. I couldn't lose in front of her, you know? Such a, such a proud moment, such a proud moment for me now. Thank you for everybody that came out. Thank you, back on the wing column, and uh, I'm around, man. Don't, don't forget about me, absolutely. After the last fight, you went to Thailand. You moved out to Vegas. So many changes in the game plan we saw that. Take a look up here. You landed so many kicks. You said you had to learn to kick. Was that the idea? What would lead you to a victory tonight? Yeah, just improving my game. You know, it's going to take a moment to put it together more and more. But absolutely, I keep improving my game. And yeah, I'm proud of, of my kicking game tonight. Yeah, it was beautiful to watch. That was a very tough fight. You are still one of the highest ranked guys in the middleweight division. How soon would you like to fight again, and who would you want to see when you get back in the octagon? Yeah, man, uh, I'm around, you know, like, uh, Kanye, Pereira, Adesanya, I lined them up, you know, I'm here, I'm around, so, just call me and I'm ready. You know, guys, like, when I sign that contract, I'm gonna show up, that's 100% sure. There's never been a time where I haven't, so you can count on me. Well, your performance tonight shows that you are still one of the best middleweights in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Italian dream, Marvin Vittori.